get ready to enter the vortex. Starring Vandita. Today we're going to pack my cameraman, John. Say hi, John. Hello. Hi, John. Hi, John. Okay. Because um, he's going on a trip to Germany for two weeks. Boring. And today I have a timer so that I don't like uh, yap on and on and on, which I could do. Um, even if you left the room. Um, so anyway, oops, oh now I put an extra minute on it. <sighs> okay. All right, we have a timer, so if it gets doo doo doo, then that's gonna be like the end of it. Okay. All righty. So, in the school of pacology, which I graduated from because I worked at Crate and Barrel for four hours one year, ten years ago, <laughs> um, and I graduated with my degree in pacology, we're gonna pack. Now it's for two weeks. Two solid weeks, including the flight days on either end. So twelve, 12 days actually, and then like the clothes I'll wear there. Will that be that adds up to two solid weeks in terms of total. So okay. twelve plus two is fourteen. Last I checked. Oh well, yes. Okay. Has the time space continuum changed already? Uh no no. Okay, so um, we got a nice little suitcase. That's a rolly bag here. I recommend rolly bags for everybody. Um, since it's an international flight, you're allowed to have two bags, but we only pack one. Therefore, if we're doing shopping, we'll have to also buy a new bag in our destination location. So, for example, for gifts. Yeah. So, if I were to buy a gift for you, I duty bring free an extra shopping. Suitcase. Duty free shopping. Okay. Let's not forget, cigarettes are way cheap and duty free. Perfume, uh, chocolates. Yep. And if you have a catalog ahead of time, or maybe you go to the online catalog of some of these places for duty free for the airlines, it's very handy. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna count to 14 anyway for everything because you always want to have extra in case, like you know, you have a bad BM or something, or you know, you sweat extra one day. It's always better to pack extra and then take out, which we may do at the end of the show if we have time. So, and we're also gonna pack for our flight tomorrow because we might as well do that while we're here. So we're gonna pack the suitcase as well as the day bag, which is the side bag in addition to the um, computer bag. Okay? So that would include like what I actually wear over there? That would include what you wear over there, what you want to pack um, for the airplane books, um, CDs, etc. I'll need some DVDs. Okay. Aren't those called video CDs now? No, they're DVDs. Okay, video whatever. CD is another format. Okay. So, uh, first of all, we have undie wears. And notice how I fold all undie <laughs> All underwears into three. Remember the golden rule of folding underwears into three. And ladies, for your packing, I pack a bottom and top set into a Ziploc baggie or similar sandwich type baggie because that way there's no thinking involved. You don't have to match in the morning. You just, you know, you grab what you have in your baggie and you go. Okay? But guys have it a little easier. All right, so one, two, three, four. Oh, and this is handy because I picked these up all out of the drawer, so they're all ready to go for packing. If you think that you can like not fold and pack, um, sorry, you, you don't know what you're talking about then. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And like I said, we're packing. Um, do you want me to pack fourteen? And you order the extra one? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, 14. Okay, well, with the exception of those last two there, it's all my boring white underwear. What the if tiny I, like, whiteies? Yeah, what if I, like, you know, get semi-naked in front of somebody, and I want some, you know, more uh, appealing you underwear? you have to buy the hip German Speedos. <laughs> no, seriously, can we put some of my uh, nicer underwear in there? Um, I suppose. We can, that, that can happen later. Oh, no, wait, it can happen now. Are these better? We'll it's a little out. better. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. I, I got more. them. I, want all my I got underwear. them here. Okay. okay, done. Anyway, all right. Then we're packing 
two casual pairs of shorts. I sort of believe in the Noah's Ark principle for all my shopping and packing is like two of everything. I mean, if, if it worked for them, it works for me, you know. So, okay, if you don't know who Noah was, he like had this boat when there was a flood for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, this is in the Bible. Is it the New or Old Testament? Uh, that was the Old Testament. Oh, the classic. Okay, the classic, that's the classic yes. one. <laughs> as opposed to the new. <laughs> Alright, so, um, anyway, they packed all, like, one male and one female of each animal so they could reproduce once, uh, the waters went down. That's the story, basically. Am I right? Yeah, that's, but what did they, did they, like, eat the other I'm not a native, or? like, uh, Christian, so I don't know for sure. Alright, anyway, the, that's what I call it, the Noah's Ark Principle. Two of everything, sometimes three. So, we get two casual shorts for lounging around in the hotel. We get two, um, very comfortable t-shirts for lounging around the hotel. Also, if it gets extra warm out there, you never know. Um, Europe is very lucky, they got the, um, the Gulf Stream winds. And so they tend as a continent to be warmer than the United States, even at the same latitude. I looked online to check the weather, and it said it would be between 1 degree Celsius as a low and about 12 degrees Celsius as a high, which fortunately they had an automatic conversion there, because I don't know what the heck like 1 feels like versus 12. Anyway, it said it was something like 37 degrees. I do, I do Fahrenheit myself because uh, Fahrenheit gives you more like nuances of degrees of temperature. That is, you know what I'm saying? That is true. Otherwise, you're going to have these and quarters and... Okay. Well, in any case, it said it would be right, between okay. 32 and 52. Whatever. Sorry, 33 and 52. You just dress generically, okay? That's the whole point. So, these are two nice little, you know, and uh, this is for a German software company that um, they usually are very casual. And besides, the, the clothing over there that most of the gents wear is um, questionable, I guess. <laughs> and so, you'll be just a fashion maven when you're there. So, two casual long sleeve shirts that are sporty, two more, okay? That would be like the Noah's Ark Principle times two? Squared. Squared. Ah. Two sweatery type things, but they're casual. Okay. And, let's see, so we have two pairs of jeans, one of which will be worn on the plane, and one of which will be packed. Oh, I was going to pack two and wear one? Also? You said pack one, wear one. Okay. It's almost like we're crocheting or something, you know? Knit two, pearl two. Something, yes. Alright, one pair of dressy pants, just in case, you know, um... In case the boss decides to take me out for an expensive dinner? Or in case you meet that special someone in a foreign country. Okay. So we got one extra pair of nice pants. And why? Because it all depends on your business and how your company functions. Um... Then we have um, one, two, three long sleeve dressy shirts, and then we have one that's a linen one, and I'm going to show you how to fold it for purposes, demonstration purposes only. <laughs> do not try this at home. Or no, you actually do try this at home. So you're going to lay It's a little wrinkled. Aren't we going to iron it first? It's linen. Linen is meant to be wrinkled and crumply. If somebody says you look rumpled and you're linen, just tell them to like, you know, go whatever themselves. Thank you for not saying anything that would make me have to edit this. Okay, continue. I'm serious. Um, I mean, like, somebody told me I looked rumpled. I'm like, me? Rumpled? No way. True story. I should tell the radio call thing, but I can't. That would just be horrible. <laughs> that would be bad, and I would be editing, so please. So basically, what I did was, I did face forward, put the sleeves across, okay, but not all the way across, folded this, you know, into here, and then, again, did a little tri-fold, and then a little bi-fold, thereby making the number of folds six. And these two are both linen, and these two, this is like a casual work shirt, and this is a dressier work shirt. So there are four work shirts. So let's see what the count is at now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need two more shirts. Can you get two more shirts? I can, but keep in mind that it's Germany and, and Europe, and they can kind of wear the same shirt more than once over there. Heck, I've seen some folks over there wear the same shirt all week, and I don't mean it's like they have a white shirt that could possibly be, like, sort of generic, and they have a whole closet full of them. I mean, I'm talking about a logo shirt that's rather unique, and you'll see them wear it an entire week, so. Yeah, they, they do tend to... Apparently 
apparently they do shower from what I've been told, but then the deal is that after that, like, they, and they put on new undergarments, thank goodness, but then they, like, they wear the same clothes over it, and I actually used to work at this company, and so I went there for a few months, and then, like, by Friday, there's, like, this little snow mountain action happening, and it's, and the hair just gets greasier and greasier, and there's one thing to have day dirty hair, because that's fashionable, and then you can kind of work with it, but it's another to have, like, five day dirty hair, and, uh, it, it's really bad. It's good for your skin in some ways, so if you want to, you know, go Euro and not bathe for five days, that's cool. But I, I only recommend not bathing for five days, no more than that. That's the maximum I've ever not bathed, but that's because I was, like, really hip and into it. So, um, and a tie. You don't need one of those little tie bags to put the tie in, you just... I think we can probably live without the tie. Are you sure? I don't have any presentations to the board of directors, and even if I did, I wouldn't wear a tie. Okay. So, we got uh, 12 stuff in here. Also, um, men, if you're going to wear a business shirt, okay, of any kind, any color, please do us ladies a favor and wear a white t-shirt with sleeves, not the muscle-bound, sleeveless kind, okay, um, under the shirt. It's very professional and especially if you're a furball, it just, it makes the whole presentation better, trust me. In fact, I would recommend um, wearing a white shirt under every shirt, whether it's a polo shirt or a business shirt or whatever, because it just keeps us from seeing parts of you that we'd rather not see in a business or casual environment. Thank you. Thank you, drive through. So we need four of those, one, two, three, four. Okay. And... Depending on the hotel, which most of them over there don't have swimming pools and jacuzzis and saunas and stuff, but just pack up her swimming shorts. And let me just show you how I folded these. Cause Are those actually swimming shorts? Those aren't actually swimming shorts, I don't believe. No, they've got a. No, that's a cotton liner. They need a like a mesh liner to be a swimming trunk. Those are my casual lounging shorts. Did you want to get the mesh underwear too? <laughs> yes, right. But. In any case, um, by anyway, the Anyway, okay, this is for demo purposes only. So you fold it in three, and then you take the little duber that's in the back and kind of like fold it one way. Oh, I have another way to fold those. Can no, I tell you? No, no. Please? No. You, you use the Noah's Ark principle. You fold it in two, and then you fold in threes. Try it. I'm serious. No. It'll work. No. Okay. So. Oh, speaking of which, we have two new viewers. Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, Rita. And? And um, Holden Caulfield. Hi, Holden. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this in here anyway, just as a reminder. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, socks. Um, again, most ecozoids tend to wear, like, white socks. But we're only going to pack two pairs of white socks, okay? What are you What are you doing? Of course I need white socks. I'm not going to wear colored socks with jeans. Yes, you are! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and following the principle of taking two extras, thirteen, fourteen. And let's see. I also want to show you how to fold socks because I noticed some of these were not folded according to the standards that um, and guidelines that I had set aside. Um, I also put aside a white T-shirt for the flight and her socks for the flight. Okay, um, oh, and an underwear for the flight. A sock folding for a regular pair of socks or um, sport socks. One, two, take the outer one with the hole and pull it over. I taught you that actually. Did not. I did too. I learned this from a TV show. And what you try to make the bottom like as wide as the top so it doesn't like fall over. And then I always have mine um, in my closet all facing like <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Like this. Um, by color or by design or by manufacturer. It's all it's up to you. Um Sport socks, the uh, the short kind for te you know like for tennis and stuff, I fold twice. Now, if you are living with another unit of person, then um, you want to try to like fold 
the male socks differently than the female socks, especially if you have the same brand of socks for the male and the female in the house. But what if you just share clothes with this person? That doesn't happen in my universe. Okay, now you want to have a little German dictionary. But what if I was going to France? I have a French travel dictionary too. Okay. I have travel dictionaries for every country. Okay. So in other words, they don't have to bring a German dictionary, especially if they were going to like Saudi Arabia or something. Yeah, folks, do not be going and buying a German dictionary just because I told you to pack it in here. Okay. Duh. Okay. Now this is our day bag, and this is where we're going to put this because this is very valuable. I mean, it's so difficult to get a good dictionary. Anyway, let's see what books we have in here. Let's not say we did. <laughs> the best sex I ever had. Okay. And the new male sexuality. I'm studying up. Okay. Well, good luck to you. All right. So we'll put all those in the side pocket. Also, I recommend having an extra underwear and shirt and basic toiletries in your day bag in case your airline, conscientious as they all are, loses your bag. Oh, that had never happened. Last thing you want to do is do what Baba did. Um, the Baba story is I worked with this guy whose nickname was Baba because he was one. And he was. I mean, it was like, you know, he's a really cool guy. And um, um, an airline that shall remain nameless uh, basically. Where's their hub located? In <laughs> Dallas. Okay, gee, which one could that be? Do they have a smaller hub in Chicago, too? Well, their old CEO, Ralph Cramden, as I call him, resigned. So the new CEO will um, be getting my three page letter that I wrote to them outlining all their problems because he actually wants to improve the airline. Anyway, uh, basically they lost his luggage and he was at a three-day class in Philadelphia. Now the class was in um, a training facility that was very close to the airport. If you've ever been to the Philly airport, there's nothing near the airport. Nothing except a couple of hotels, a couple of businesses, and if you want to stray and venture into some suburbs of Philly, go ahead, but I don't recommend it. So there's nowhere to do anything. Nowhere, okay? so. Here's the methodology if you lose your luggage and are not smart enough to pack an extra pair of undies and a shirt and your day bag. Day one, Baba goes and wears underwear as, um, as usual and goes through the day. Day two, Baba says, hmm, still no, still no luggage, what should I do? And um, goes um, and turns it inside out and then wears it. So now the stains are on the outside. Yeah, Yesterday's stains are on the outside. The okay. skid marks are pre-marked for your convenience. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so day three. Hold on, Bob. Okay. I'm getting there. Just hang on. So day three, Bob was like, hmm, still no, no, no baggage. Whatever shall I do? And instead of calling the Voyager catalog people that can deliver to your hotel within 24 hours, and there's a catalog in your hotel room, um, he says, today I shall go without... Ew, frightening, ew, ugh, especially if you knew what Bubba looked like. Ah! Okay, um, and then... <laughs> He's going to see this, and then... Uh, no, oh, man, he's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He ain't going to see this. So, and then, so that was the, the uh, I think the soaking day, so then he soaked it in the sink. It haven't helped the person who was cleaning that room that day. And then he wore a slightly damp pair the last day on the plane. And okay, there's a couple of lessons to be learned from this parable. One is, if this happens to you, please don't share with the rest of us what happened. And Especially don't share with Vandita, the anal retentive housewife, because she'll tell the world. It, the, the bad thing is it happened, but then the worst thing is we all know. So I think there's like at least 50 people in the world who know, and now there's more. All 52, four, perhaps. All four of my viewers. No, there's four people who have seen the show. They I'm advertised. To you. One or two might have seen it and not actually written to you yet. No, they didn't write. It was word of mouth that I found out. I see. Oh, by the way, I, my Vandita.com email account is currently not functioning. So you want to send emails to Vandita at Yahoo.com or Vandita at Excite.com. Or pretty much Vandita on any mail server out there because I've, I've taken that name because, well, it's me and it's mine, so I took it. So there. All right. Um, let's see. We want to pack a jacket. 
One of these nice new microfiber styles is really convenient for jacket packing. That is not going to be warm enough. I'm going to Germany in October. But they get the Gulf Stream winds. The high is going to be 52 degrees. The low will be 33. That's almost freezing. I want my leather jacket and I will carry it with me on the plane. I don't mean to mess up your packing, but... You're okay, you're okay, fine, whatever. So right. let's, let's pretend it's like September and it's a little warmer and then what would we pack? You're going to pack some plastic bags for your dirty clothes, and as you use your dirty clothes, you're going to fold them neatly so that your suitcase is, again, nice and neat. Are you taking one pair of shoes or two? I will wear one pair, and I will take a pair. That would be fine for work, yes, especially now that you've repaired the insides. Wearable? Um, yeah, fine, I could wear those. There's a pair to wear. We'll manage. I'm sure I'm going to be adjusting what you've packed. Well, adjust later. Okay. Um, now, remember the lamination episode, which is a classic? Right now, we're currently um, in our best of series. And someday, I'll have like a marathon, oh, 24 speak. hours, all anal retentive housewife all the time. <laughs> Eventually, someday, I'll get the call letters, the van channel, all Vandita all the time. Anyway, I keep my, um, my cards for airlines. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon us, we're having some difficulties. Airlines, cars, and hotels. So pick the hotel and the you know the airline thing that you need and carry it in your wallet or whatever you need I'm to do. I'm staying at a no-name hotel, but I'm flying. Um, am I allowed to say the name of the airline? Since we already dissed the other one, sure. I'm flying on Lufthansa, Deutsche Airlines or something. Anyway, it's a, it's a German I'm so airline. sorry. Yes, well... Do not order the filet there. It's definitely questionable. Okay. I'm serious. Okay. If you have prescriptions, I recommend laminating the prescription and carrying it with you. Okay? And in why case, is that? Well, in case you need it. Okay. Duh. You might need it. Anyway, this is my whole collection of cards. And also here handy, I have, um, let's see. And if you have a phone guide or a pager guide or, you know, whatever cell phone guide you need, be sure to take that. Um, let's see. You don't need a tip table because, like, their tip thing works differently there. But try to do your research wherever you're going. I mean, even if you're going to a different part of this country or even the state, um, you want to try to blend. Just hang and, you know, try to be a native. Okay. You may also want to take your company's travel department little card brochure. Okay. Um, let me see. I also laminated some like first aid information and um, the American Sign Language Institute like card. Sometimes those people come around at the airport and so you sort of feel bad so you have to kind of have to buy the card. Anyway. Well if you bring one with you then when they try to bring you the card you just pull yours out and say hey I already got my own. Better yet you say it in sign language so they can understand you. Take plenty of business cards. Um, you know just in case. Uh, let me see. Any other phone numbers you might need that you think might be useful? Okay, here we go. These are my little checklists which I laminated. So, let's see. Um, the basics. Luggage, travel pack, clothing, rain protection. Do you want a parka or an umbrella or you'll just get your hair wet? I'll have a beamer. I'll keep my hair dry. It'll so be you'll, fine. you'll suffer fashionably? Yes. Okay. Um, travel footwear. Footwear. Footwear is important. I would recommend that you not take tennis shoes, especially if you're traveling outside because it, it looks tacky. You, it says tourist. Wear a nice pair of comfortable dark shoes. Uh, hat, maybe a little travel hat if you want to. Uh, camera film, video camera tapes, water bottle, language books, reading materials, address book, uh, travel journal, scarf, bandana. Uh, games, playing cards. If you have a computer, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, uh, travel lock. Don't even worry about that anymore. If they're going to do it, I mean, just let them come in. It's like locking your car and having the, you know, the poor slob, like, you know, break open your window. Uh, luggage ID tags. What I do for my ID tags is I take one of those, like, friendship rope bracelets and put it on the outside. And then I take, um, a luggage tag, but I put, like, a neon, uh, 3x5 card in it. Well, trimming it down to size, of course. Uh, 
And then I put all my information on the card, and then I laminate the 3 by 5 card, which has been trimmed down to size, and put it in there. You can also laminate your business card, and if you take two business cards but back you, to you back and laminate it... You can't see it very efficiently well, from afar. Well, if your corporate that's logo to, is real obvious, then you'd know. No, because you have to have a neon. I mean, that's really... You have to have, you have, to have an eye grabber. Many bags do look alike. <laughs> Don't even tell the story about my mom. Continue, please. What happened to Mother... Oh, just the one time that, like, we got back here and she opened up well, what she thought was her suitcase and said, I don't remember packing this. These aren't my pants. Who put all these strange clothes in my bag? Then she figured out it wasn't her bag, so we had to take it back to the airport and get hers. Don't! Don't! Okay, so that was basics. Um, okay, let's go into toiletries now. Um, women, adjust this for your special needs. Um, but I keep my special womanly need things too in little Ziploc baggies because it's much more efficient that way. Okay. Alright. So, toiletries. I keep a set ready to go so I can travel whenever I need to. If I need to, like, get away immediately, I have a bag. But I have a metal suitcase <laughs> with all my toiletries. Um, so, and a separate bag with towels. It also, I feel like visiting people is different, okay? So if you're, like, visiting, say, a friend from high school, and she's, like, renting a room in a house, like, take your own towels and stuff, because she ain't gonna have them, okay? And, you know, just try to plan for... You want to be a gracious guest, and accommodate... Yeah, yo, ba, ga, ya. Okay. Jeez. I don't want you to run out of time, that's all. And don't okay. pack that timer. They're going to think it's some kind of like detonation device or something. Do not joke with customs officials. They don't take it well. But do be gracious and just say, Hi, how are you doing? Or the security people. Or any of those people. Oh, but if you're going to get a body cavity search, um, make sure there's something up there for them to find. All right. <laughs> Smile. Okay. All right. I'm the anal retentive housewife. That's my line, and I'm doing it. Happy.